What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here, bringing you another episode of Prison Architect here on Aviator Games. This is episode 2. Last time we left off, we barely even had like a little holding cell and canteen kitchen area. But now look what we got, we have a pretty good prison, and I'm going to show you what we have all done since the last episode. So basically, like I said last time, we had this tiny area, and we only had like 8 prisoners, now we have 147. Now, this prison is very chaotic at the moment. It's not a perfect uh, prison topia, okay? So let me break it down a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so, we have the canteen eating area right here. And it only feeds, like, I don't know, 20 people <laughs> at a time. Then we have the kitchen here, which is producing pretty good food. Uh, our showers, where people get shanked almost every single day. You walk into the prison, there's some visitation with a soda machine. It's pretty great. Then we have the yard where only minimum security prisoners can play. And as you can see, no one's out there because everyone out in here is a fucking psychopath. And then over here is our actual hold, our actual jail cells. We have eight. Eight only. So only eight prisoners are actually see eight are contained in jail cells. Then we have our utility room. We have a staff room with our warden's office right here. It's a huge ass office he gets. Um, then we have our foreman's office. Our uh, chief's office, and then we have like these this big mess here that I'm trying to build, and it's just not working, and it's making me very frustrated. But we're hoping that it will work, and then I'll be happy. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, look, they're coming to construct. It takes my construction workers forever. Oh, here they are. Okay, so I'm gonna make this the lawyer's office and the accountant's office, so that's what I'm hoping to do. And then we have an infirmary right here. And this is a makeshift psychiatrist's office. Uh, we're, we're working on it. This is a new wing of the prison I just started. Uh, we have nice, nice pathways with fenced-in walkways and dead prisoners everywhere. Oh, there's prisoners escaping. That's not good. Oh, we just had a guy escape. <laughs> okay, so um, today, though, we're going to add some prison cells. Because we need a lot more prison cells to hold our prisoners. And the only kicker is they got to be 3x3, three three, so it takes up a lot of space. But let's get started. So... We're going to start building these prison cells, and they're going to go like this. Like, wait, make sure that's in line. There it is. They're going to go all the way like that. Boom. So this is going to be a huge construction job, so we're going to hire a shit ton more construction workers. Boop, 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 There we go. We need bigger storage rooms, too. Um, I've, I've discovered to store all of our crap. So if we want to store, like, extra materials, etc., so that's what we're going to do with this area right here. Make this basically one giant storage room. Because uh, we only have these two tiny ones, and it's not cutting it. My workers get trapped in there for hours at a time, and we just can't order a lot of supplies. As you can see, we have semi-trucks backing up trying to send us supplies. We're expanding this prison. But we're going to quickly do a shakedown. So we're going to see what prisoners have what items on them. As you can see, we found eight forks. We found yeah, a spoon, a scissor. Oh, a scissors. Uh, so we get money for everything that we find um, because the state likes us doing these these searches. I'm pretty sure we get money. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure we do. Oh my god, somebody has shears. Cigarettes aren't too bad. Booze isn't too bad. Scissors. See, scissors and what is this? This is needles and spoons. Forks. Those are bad things that they're taking from the canteen, but we finally hired janitors too. And we, man, they are working overtime and they still can't keep this prison clean. I'm going to hire a few more when I'm thinking about it. So now we have 12 janitors. We only have 20 guards, so I'm probably going to hire a few more of those right now. So we're making good money. Why not hire a few more? Um, then cooks. We'll hire a couple more of those guys. Uh, what else could we use? A gardener. We, we, we never even uh, did that yet, so I guess we'll hire one gardener. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, this requires an entrance. So now we need to build an entrance here. This is going to be our storage room, so we just need a door. And it can go, like, right here. And this is going to be labeled a giant storage room. And we can store hopefully a lot more crap in there, so we don't have to be trapped in these tiny rooms. Uh, so what? Where is storage? Oh, there it is. So as soon as this is done being built, we can make that storage. But yeah, I, I like the setup we have with the prison. It's just our workers are really slow, uh, actually getting over here and getting stuff done, which kind of sucks. But oh, now we can build the walls. Ugh. It's like I have to put a work order in and just wait and wait and wait and wait. Okay, so there's that's going to be a wall. This is going to be the accountant's office. This is going to be the lawyer's office. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this can be the psychologist's office or psychiatric's office or whatever. Um, then it's going to also need a door. Uh, so we're going to put a staff door here. Boom. Okay, so that's going to be his office. Then this will be extra room for whatever. Uh, okay, so now it's time to expand. Oh, the door's not in there yet. Oh, I mean the wall's not in there. Jesus, people. 
Jesus. Okay, let's see. Um, well, I think we can still do the room. Let's see, because I have to expand this room to make it an office. Okay, so that's the lawyer's office. This is the psychiatric's office, or the account's office. Yeah, that's right. Now we need new flooring in these rooms, because I've been kind of redoing the flooring as I go, just so it doesn't look so depressing in this prison, especially for the my actual staff members, because I don't want them to go into a depression. And as you can see, there's a prisoner in the foreman's office, and that's because uh, this used to be a solitary confinement area, and he's still serving some type of solitary confinement thing. I think he's, like, glitched here. He always says he has two hours. They found drugs and attacked staff. I don't know. I don't really know how to bring him back, but he's he's he served 13 years out of his 20, so he's he's I guess he's doing good, right? <laughs> okay, so this I don't know what stacks of what. Oh, these are prisoner uniforms. Dump all this stuff. This can't be in her office. Um, dump this one too. Dump dump all of it. Cause I was gonna make this the laundry room, cause I was having the hardest time with uh, getting this this stuff to work, and then I just realized, oh, I didn't have foundation. Okay, so we have to build the prison cells yet, but I don't—I doubt that building's actually constructed. Okay, so let's get rid of all this clothes. These are prisoner clothes. I was gonna—yeah, we don't need a laundromat yet. They can suffer in dirty clothes for now. It, this prison's getting close to being okay, like bearable to be in. I'm, I'm guessing, but look at how far behind my workers are. It's because they need this. They need this room to be a storage room. Uh, foundation is in progress, you guys. Look at this, and this one foundation is in progress they're always in progress it takes forever for my people to accomplish anything so let's do this let's right click we're gonna cancel that one let's make this priority so we can have a bigger storage room so come on guys there's not much to do here you just gotta put flooring in here a concrete wall there and then build this room god workers do I have to hire more and more of you guys I, I think it's not I don't I think they're waiting on materials like if I look into it I guarantee they're waiting on materials it, the foundation's in progress, that's all it says, but look at all these guys, they're crammed in these little storage rooms, hoping to find the materials they need to build their stuff, so I don't know if we need more workers, we're just going to hire a few more though. There we go. We're still making okay money per day, about 5000 after paying all of our costs, so not too bad. <laughs> Come on, storage room, I want to build you. And then we can have a shit ton of supplies. Like, these trucks aren't quick enough. Oh, because they have to wait for this gate. Okay, how about this? How about what we do is... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right there, the door. Okay, so door locked open. There we go. So this will allow them just to go in and out, in and out. Look at all the supplies they have to sort through. This is just... It's, it's a mess. Repair. So they got to repair that jail door. It's broken. It, it, it gets crazy, you guys. It, running this prison is pretty overwhelming. Not going to lie. But it's like once you get a few rooms built, then you can kind of like calm down. But this room right here, just these eight cells took me forever to build because I screwed up a hundred times because it has to be a certain size. It has to have certain stuff in it. You have to get all the utilities to work. Look at these utilities. Oh, my God. There's so much different crap that you have to do. We're going to just connect these utilities right now. So that way when this room is a storage room and it's all up and running, this will be good. Oh, look, they're running. They must be doing the wooden floor. Yep, good. They're they're flooring this off. They got the lawyer's office, the accountant's office. She still needs one piece of, of stuff, but let's let's get her her office desk in here. Okay, so this will be her office desk. Then we're gonna give her a chair, and then she's gonna get a filing cabinet because that's this is all the crap they need. And this still has to be wood, so uh, unless it's a grate to escape, and uh, this still needs to be wood. It's like we ran out. Yep, we ran out of supplies. So that's, that's our big problem we're facing. So I think we need bigger storage rooms. These guys are just crowding. We need a lot more people working this. I don't think the security guard should be doing that personally because I think it's a waste of our resources. Uh, let's see. what Who haven't we hired? We only have one gardener. We don't have any dog handlers. Um, so let's see. Bureaucracy. Uh, okay, so we're land expansion. Nine hours. Contraband. Patrols. Okay, so we're, as you can see, we're researching all this stuff. Uh, what is this? Unlocks the clone tool to the main toolbar. Use this tool. Oh, okay. What's this? Allows you to put your prisoners to work around your prison. Cooking, cleaning, etc. Save your staff wages. Blah, blah. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know how to do that. Let's see. Okay, um. Hmm. No, I don't know how to put them to work yet. I wish I did. I think they just go to work and they might make money. But I think the warden can set this. Okay, so this is the regime. 
So from 12... Oh crap. Oh crap, we're, lowering, we're, we're really lowering their sleep. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get rid of all this. And we're going to set our own regime. You know, we're not going to... We're not going to take shit from no one, okay? So let's see. No free time. Okay, so this is our prison 24-7. So it is lights out at 9 p.m. You go to sleep. Okay, so 9 p.m. you're going to sleep. And then at 6 a.m. or at 7 a.m. you're going to wake up. So you sleep a long time at this prison. But then once you wake up, we're going to allow you to eat for a good three-hour block. Then, after that, you get... Uh, to shower. You get to shower. A two hour block. No, 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 no. Two hour block of showering. Uh, well, we'll make it three hours because there's a lot of prisoners. Then after that, you get an hour of free time. Then you go to work. Oh, then, okay, two hours free time. We're, we're being generous. Then you go to work and you work a long time and then you get one hour of yard time. So this is their day. They sleep quite a bit. Uh, we'll actually give them two hours of yard time, make them go to bed at 10. So that way they, they get a nice diversified day meal variety will we'll, meal quality we'll make it high we're gonna we're gonna really let these prisoners live it up when they're here so that's our regime I think it's gonna make these guys happier we have to get these guys in cells though eventually because they're gonna just die here it's they're getting sick they're getting hurt this guy served 12.8 years out of eight he has not been released yet oh my god he is over served 4.8 years, you guys. That is ridiculous. Um, so let's get someone to search him. Maybe they'll let him go. But we don't really have a processing center or anything like that, so we don't have a way to really get these guys in and out of here yet. Um, well, that sucks for him. He shouldn't have committed the crime if you didn't want to do overtime. Oh! Okay. <laughs> let's see. Um, hmm. So is this room? This room's not even started yet. The foundation's still in progress. This this wood's not done yet. Her office isn't finished yet. The psychiatrist's office isn't finished yet. Our our construction workers are really slow. Our our supplies are super slow coming in. Um, so we're gonna leave this door open. And I think that's gonna allow people to like go in and out really fast. These doors are all locked, so I'm not worried about the prisoners. Uh, well, not right now at least. <laughs> uh, okay, so hopefully this. Look at this janitor. He just wants to clean, but he can't. Okay, repair that. Okay, so... Uh, I like the regime. I love the regime we got. I think this... This this should go faster, though. It just feels so slow. See, there's some stacks of supplies, prisoner uniforms. Oh, my God. You guys, we we need the big storage room to be finished now. I, I, I feel bad that I didn't think of this sooner. Okay, so, Chief, what are you doing, Chief? This is this is your office, Chief. Go Go there. See, Chief? Go there. <laughs> Go there, Chief! Go! Why don't you use your fucking office that I gave you? It was expensive. It was a million dollars. Ugh. Come on, people. We're, we're only making $2,000 a day now because we've hired so many employees. We're going to end up firing a lot of these workers after we get some of our bigger buildings built, but until then, we need these guys. Let's look at some of the reports. Okay, so prisoners. There's normal risk, high risk. There's no high risk prisoners. So everyone's pretty normal. You know they're pretty bad. Uh, so I can see what people are doing. I can see the needs of the prison. The regime. Uh, the regime, the grants, the finances. Uh, what's this? Oh man, the valuation. We're negative 1.4 million dollars. Escapes. We had 25 escapes. Unsolved murders, $90,000. We had three of those. We had uh, serious injuries, $24,000. Time without incident, 45 hours. Oh, we got a little bonus on that. Uh, starting grant minus 30,000. So we've had escapes, 25 of them. It costs us 1.5 million dollars. I can sell the prison when it becomes worth something, but right now you can't even sell it because it's like worth nothing. Uh, we got a lot of staff. I can, oh my god, what is going on here? They pull us over here for a reason. Oh, okay. Oh, it, it shows me the staff. So I can fire whoever I want. I can just blah, 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 fire half these guys. I think we're going to. They're just costing us money and they're not doing a lot. So we're going to get rid of these guys. Then we're also going to get rid of some guards. Um, then we're going to get rid of a couple of janitors. We got a little crazy with the janitor hiring. Two doctors we'll get rid of. But the rest of the people can stay on board. Now we have 67 staff members. Oh, God, these prisoners are getting out of control. They just keep coming, though. They just keep on coming. This is supply truck, supply truck, supply truck, 
Supply truck. Oh my god. There, there's so much to do. Oh, it's starting to get built. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we can do this. Room. This is our uh, storage room. Where is it? Storage room. There it is. Storage. Boom. Let's do this. Store all of our crap in there. So now, our, look at our workers. They can get in and out really fast. And it's a bigger room. They're not, like, swirling around in circles all day. So I think that's going to pick up productivity here. Now we just need some wood. What does she need? A chair. Well, the chair's still coming in. Uh, drink machine. Oh, it thinks that's a staff room. <laughs> it's like, is this staff room? Um, okay, so let's just... What was this? Boom. Okay, so that's storage. It's not even storage. Literally, it, it shouldn't be storage. It should be nothing. I wish there was a way to make it nothing, because now... Now they're going to be throwing storage shit in there. And there's nowhere to store anything, but they're still going to try to do it. Okay, so that storage room's built. Now we can actually set up the build of the giant prison expansion we wanted to do. Okay, let's make sure that's in line. Okay, it is. Boom. Huge prison expansion. That's going to take a long time. But I think, well, we got supplies. They're, they're running down here already. This guy's tackling a big part of it. We got supplies now, so... Oh, we used them all. Well, we have a little bit left. See, they were just circling in those tiny rooms waiting, but look at this. This is getting built. This is going to be our huge cell block. We're going to basically have big iron doors here that led into a lot of cells, like a shit ton of cells. And I think it's going to be a good place to store all of these prisoners. Hopefully we can get 80 of them out of the 160 stored. A good half of them. Then we can always add on and add on. We have a lot of land here left still. So I'm not worried about storing these prisoners. I just I just want to have the best experience for my, my prisoners. So they go back and they're like, man, I wish I could go back to that prison. That was a good prison to be at. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Prison Tycoon. I mean, Prison Architect Prison Tycoon. If you want another episode, leave a like on the video. Tell me what I should add to the prison if you've played the game before. And until next time, remember, take it easy. Live it squeezy.